So you want to know if you are short-witted or not. Today I'm going to give you five different ways you can immediately tell without involving any measurements. Before we get into that, one thing that's critical to clarify. Chi Li, right here. Miss Li, your test result is out. You have a short waist. I do? What is it supposed to mean? I'm not supposed to tell you this, but this means your legs are long. You mean like a model, like supermodel? Fabulous. One more. Fabulous. Fantastic. Those legs are gonna put Kendall Jenner out of business. Short-waisted is not the same thing as short torso. A lot of times these two terms are used interchangeably, so they can be easily confused together. Having a short waist means the distance between your shoulders and your natural waist is short. That means your natural waist starts high on your body, but that doesn't automatically mean that you have a short torso and therefore long legs. Take myself for an example. I have a pretty high waistline. However, because my rise is long, the rise is the measurements between your natural waist and your crotch. Even though my waist is short, I still end up having a long torso because of my long rise. And this is quite common. But why does it matter, Chi? Because the styling strategy is gonna be different for someone with short waist and short torso versus someone with short waist and long torso. I will get into that second half of this video. Now let's look at the first sign that you have a short waist. The V-neck test. Have you ever noticed the V-neck tops are hitting too low on you? Like this top, it's exposing my bras. But the proper face should be like this. It should be covering on top of my bra and there should be some distance between the two. If you always notice this, not just with one particular style or brand, that could be a sign that your natural waist is short because the distance from your shoulders and your waist is short that's why the v-neck is hitting the wrong spot on your body the spaghetti strap test i love spaghetti straps and i have a lot of them but here's the thing most of them are too long for me if i don't adjust them it looks like this they're not gonna stay on my shoulders so i constantly have to shorten them a lot if you feel the same way with most of your tops with spaghetti straps, that could be a sign because the distance from your shoulders to your natural waist is short, there's not enough distance to hang a long strap. And for that reason, it's almost impossible for me to wear spaghetti straps that is not adjustable because they're gonna be constantly falling off my shoulders even if I get the tops from petite department. Skirt test. When you are wearing the skirt, do you often feel like they are coming up really high on you? You will not notice this with your jeans or pants because these have crotch. But when you are wearing the skirt because they don't have a crotch, for someone who has a short waist, oftentimes the skirt is gonna come up really high even though you are not deliberately pulling them up high. I often notice this and if you do too, that is a major sign you have a short waist. Do you have a waist definition? What I noticed is a lot of women with shorter waist also do not have a waist definition, myself included. And the reason is because the distance between your natural waist and your shoulders are so short, there is just not enough space to accommodate the ins and outs compared with someone who does have defined waist. One famous example is Nicole Richie. She is 5'1", she has a short waist and a short rise. So she has a very typical short torso, long leg body shape, but she does not have a very natural waist definition. The jeans test. Do you always feel awkward when you wear high rise jeans? If that is the case, you feel most comfortable in mid-rise or even low-rise jeans, that is a major sign that you have a short torso and a short waist. This 
only applies to those of you who have a short rise. If you're like me, you have a short waist, but you have a long rise, this does not apply to you because for us, we actually feel much more comfortable in high rise jeans because when we're sitting down, this is gonna be more accommodating for our long rise. Okay, that was my five ways. If you have figured out that you do have short waist, what is the best way to dress your shape? Remember, even if you have short waist, there are two body shapes. You could have short waist and short torso, but you could also have short waist and long torso like myself. Regardless of which one you are, here's three ways that you can always use and flatter your shape. Number one is to wear a dress. This applies to both body shapes. When you wear a dress, it takes a focus out of where your torso ends and where your legs start. And that is a great news for women with a short waist. If you are short-waisted and you have a short torso, this is gonna make it less obvious that your torso is short. If you have a short waist but a long torso because of your long rise, this is also flattering for you because this is actually gonna make your torso appear shorter and make your legs appear longer and give you a better proportion. Number two, wear monochrome outfits. If your top and your bottom are very similar colors, visually, this is gonna make it less obvious the line between your torso and your legs. And therefore, if you have a short waist, it's gonna be very hard for the eye to tell. If you have a short torso, that's gonna be less obvious in the monochrome outfit. If you have a long torso, because you have longer eyes, wearing a monochrome outfit is actually gonna lengthen you visually and make you look longer and leaner, and of course make your legs appear longer too. Number three, wear an empire waist dress. I'm not talking about empire waist dress that looks like this. This does not define your waist, it flares out right under your boobs, so this can make you look pregnant. I am talking about the empire waist that looks like this. This does define your waist. It's called empire waist because the waistband is broader. Why is this so flattering for someone with a short waist? At first, it may sound counterintuitive because the waistband for the empire waist is coming up so high. Doesn't this make it more obvious that you have a short waist? It does. However, the eye is gonna think this is coming from the silhouette of the dress instead of coming from your body proportion. That is why it's actually gonna make it less obvious whether or not you have a short waist. Besides, if you do have a short waist and long rise body shape like me, when you wear an empire waist dress, this is super leggy elongating because the eye is gonna assume everything under that waistband is your legs. Having a short waist doesn't equal having a short torso. There are three different types of torso. You could have a short torso, but you could also have a long torso, or perhaps you have an average torso. How do you know which one you are? Watch this video. I mentioned to you five different ways you can tell without measuring, and if you do want to measure yourself, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can properly measure yourself and figure it out which type you are. 